Hey everybody, uh, just a little blog update, just letting you know what is going on, a couple of things I want to mention, a couple of shout outs I want to make. First thing, uh, been shopping today, which is pretty cool. Um, went to the magical place where, well, toy, not Babies R Us, Toys R Us. Um, I was meant to go for one thing, ended up picking up several. The thing I actually went for was the Revenge of the Fallen 2 pack hoist and mix master set. Uh, had 10 quid off in Toys R Us, so that was pretty nifty. Um, it was £10 more expensive before Christmas. With that set, you're essentially getting a Voyager and a Deluxe for the price of a Voyager. Not bad at all. So I thought with me extra spare £10, I thought I'd pick up Universe Blades. That's the receipt. Um, yeah. I've, I mean, I've already got the mould used when they did the Springer Rat Bat. But, you know, for the sake of it, just thought I'd pick it up. And uh, the last one that I picked up, again, oh by the way, he was half price as well, so all of their, uh, all of their universe uh, Voyagers and uh, Ultras are essentially half price. And finally, uh, just because he was there, I picked up Blazing Lockdown, basically because I wanted to open an animated toy, and he also comes with the, uh, the different weapon as well. And again, uh, just, just over half price on that one, so... Pretty successful haul, I'm looking forward to tucking into them. A couple other things that I want to mention. Um, if you're at all interested, I would highly recommend going and following the links to the Moonbase 2 forum. Uh, it's Moonbase2, that's the number 2, dot org. You can find it there, it's really simple. I paid for a web address. Woo! You can go there, and I would perhaps recommend uh, tuning in to our latest uh, podcast. Over the last few weeks, if you haven't been listening, we've been doing a retrospective look at the decade that was the noughties, and we've covered so far the toys, we've covered the TV series. This week, I gathered a four-man motley crew together to try and talk about the comic books, and we ended up talking for four hours about Dreamwave. So IDW is coming next week, but by all means, go ahead and check it out. Also check out the forum, because there's going to be a lot of fun things and and wacky things that I'm going to start doing with it uh, in the not-too-distant future. And there's some more excellent stuff coming. As far as YouTube goes, quick clarification on the end of my uh, Dropshot video, which is on uh, Kal-El Prime, the, the channel. I am Kal-El Prime, it's not on me, it's me on there. But, um, yeah, so what I'm going to be doing is, starting from next week, I'm not sure when I'm going to release these exactly, but I'm going to be doing the Icons of Evil, as I call them. Thunderwing, Scorponok, Shockwave, Galvatron. And there's going to be one released every week, and they're going to be quite detailed, quite long reviews, because... If you look at something like Shockwave, or Thunderwing, or even Galvatron, the toys really aren't that complex. But the backstory is a completely different matter altogether. Scorponok, however, is a monster when it comes to backstory, and a monster when it comes to a toy. So, his review, while I've only shot the toy portion of, of that particular review so far, is well over 18 minutes long. So, I'm posing this question to you. What do you want? Do you want, in the large cases where the, the backstory is huge, do you want the toy separate, or do you want it all in one go, and I will timestamp as necessary. So let me know what you would prefer uh, from that, and I look forward to hearing your feedback in regards to it. Uh, is there anything else that I want to mention? Yes, as well, another YouTube thing. Uh, I, I just want to... Wait a second, I will just pull it up because I know him by his actual name and I don't want to go ahead and give you the wrong... I mean, the link will be floating around. Well, yeah, the link will be floating around anyway. It's um, a YouTuber that I want you to keep an eye out on over uh, 2010 because he's done a couple of videos so far and I've really enjoyed them. He's very passionate about the the videos he makes and the toys which he talks about. It's Matt, uh, King Grimlock from the uh, the Moonbase 2 forum. However, he goes by the name of King Grimmy on YouTube. Check it out. Like I say, he's only got um, like six videos up at the moment, 
but I really enjoy listening to them. They're really nice. He's got something to say, which I think is always important. I know it sounds a bit redundant, but there are a lot of times you will watch a video or a toy review and it's somebody going through the motions, whereas I feel like there's passion when he talks about it and things like that, and I highly recommend it. Not only that, but if you're subscribed to him, you get mentioned on the video constantly, so that's all good. Ding! Uh, so go check out Matt. Uh, like I say, he's a nice guy as well. I've met him in person a couple of times. Uh, always a great guy to sort of chat with and things like that. And he will respond to you in kind, so that's pretty much it. So yeah, um, check those all out. And I want you to go ahead and uh, check out the Moonbase 2 forum. You know, get participating, get going. Because like I say, there's going to be some cool stuff. We are approaching our 100th show as well. So you can be damn well... You can damn well rest assured that I am not going to let 100 videos pass without something special happening. So, take that as you will. So until next time everybody, this is David Kalal Prime saying take care, and I'll catch you all later. Bye.